Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. My name is Shantae and here I have my youngest daughter, Callista, where we're about to style her hair for her last week of school because she is officially a first grader and I cannot be any more proud of her. Before we go any further, let me not forget to invite you to hit that subscribe button and come join the family. We would greatly and much appreciate having you here. And to all of my returning subscribers, hey mama, hey bestie, hey friend, hope you have been safe and blessed as always. So let's go ahead and jump straight into this. So I'm going in with the Let's Jam Conditioning Gel because I love a clean parts around here. So what I do is I go ahead and section off the hair that I want and I did a straight back part from the top of her forehead to the nape of her neck and then I go back over it with the gel and then retrace it so that you have the cleanest and sharpest part ever, okay? It might be a little crooked but it's gonna be clean, all right? So I went ahead and styled her hair into uh, four ponytails because she agreed with four ponytails this time. But I had no clue what I was going to do from here. So right here, I'm kind of spinning her around trying to figure out what we're going to do. I ended up landing on doing some Bantu knots on her because I haven't done some in a while. And I think they look super adorable on little girls. So what I'm doing is taking the ponytail and I am two strand twisting it together. And then I'm going to begin wrapping it around the base of that ponytail. But be careful not not to do this part too tight because it can cause a lot of tension. It can cause breakage and uncomfortable and we don't want our babies to be uncomfortable. As I'm wrapping it around, I'm doing this very gently and I'm tucking that in right up under the bun and then I'm going to secure it with a simple rubber band. And we're gonna do that three more times. I got the thumbs up for Boo because she was like, okay, mommy, this looks cute. I can rock and roll with it. And I'm glad because I had no idea what else I was gonna do with it anyway. So I'm repeating that process one more time and I'm gonna show you again I am two strand twisting that ponytail and then once we get down to the end I'm going to begin wrapping it around the base of that ponytail to create this cute little knot and then secure it with a rubber band. Now that her cute and adorable four buns are down, done, it is time to add the hair accessories because we can't have a hairstyle without some bows and some hair clips, at least not in my book. So I did some snap clips in the front and I decided to go with some glitter bows in the back because I am obsessed with glitter bows. And all of our hair accessories are purchased off of our Amazon storefront. And I link that down below in the description box if you would love to check out all of the hair accessories, tools, and products that we use very frequently here on our channel. Now time for a quick ad break. So if you are new here, you do not know that I have an Instagram page that I dedicate to all things fashion, hair, and fun. And I do outfit inspiration. So make sure you follow me on Instagram at shantae.pompon. All right, now moving on to the second style. For this style, Calissa only required two ponytails, but it's just not me if I only do two boring ponytails. So we're going to add a little pizzazz on it because you know, I just, I got to be difficult. I got to be extra and glitter bows are always going to be involved. So I sectioned off her hair right at the nape of her neck, going from ear to ear. And I'm going to section that off into uh, three smaller sections and rubber banding those off using elastic bands. Now for smaller sections, I prefer to use the elastic band versus the rubber band. The rubber band has a little bit of like tension to it, uh, which makes for a great hold. And the elastic band has more of a slip to it so it doesn't like tug and pull on those fine hairs and Calissa is very sensitive at the nape of her neck. Once I created my three little ponytails, I went ahead and did her two ponytails that she asked for. But of course I added my little decorations in the back where our cute little blue rubber bands. I went ahead and connected and did, you know, some cute rubber band styles by simply taking that middle one, splitting it in half and connecting it with the ones on the side. And I, I was feeling a little blue today. So I played around with some dark blue, light blue and some white rubber bands. And we're going to bring those all up into that ponytail at the top and secure it with a, another rubber band. Now that she has the two ponytails that she originally asked for, but we have this cute little design in the back and I think it's absolutely adorable. It has a nice little peekaboo style. So I decided to do some more 
Bantu knots because the last ones were so adorable on her. But this time I wanted to leave her curls out, kind of hanging out on the end. So it kind of had like this Sailor Moon effect to me. Like that's what it was given. I don't know, y'all let me know. And of course those glitter bows are coming in. Y'all thought I was joking? I really am obsessed with glitter bows. But look at that adorable smile. I tried to lay her baby hairs and that's why she was laughing at me because she was like, mommy, I'm gonna need you to stop while you ahead. So thank you guys for joining us on another video that's gonna end it here. We greatly appreciate y'all sticking it out to the end of the video and if you liked it do not forget to hit that thumbs up let us know what kind of content you would love to see here on our channel do not forget to leave any questions or comments that you have down below in the comment section we will see y'all on another one be blessed and be safe